Hey guys, it's Dr. Crescio. It's Wednesday, February the 20th, and my goal is to qualify for the CrossFit Games by the time that I'm 55. Uh, I'm gonna be 40 this year, so there is, feels like there's more work than time in this case. But more importantly, then the reason that I'm recording and doing all this stuff is to document myself uh, and my kids when they're growing up so that my kids when they get older are able to look back and be like, cool, you know, that's my dad, that's how he thought, that's what he thought about. Um, hopefully they'll take the good stuff and the bad stuff from that. Um, and, uh, and to have that, because I would love to have that for my parents. So it's a big week in the sense that the Open, so the CrossFit Open starts this Friday. I'm super excited uh, to see the announcement on Thursday. So the kids, Ari and Vetti, stay with my parents uh, Thursday night, because Rochelle and myself do a lot of just getting stuff done uh, on Fridays, and it's challenging to have two young kids when you're trying to get a whole bunch of stuff done. Uh, but anyways, one of our favorite things to do during this time is to come home and to watch the announcement of the workout for Friday and then watch to just fit beasts, um, you know, dominate the workout and then <laughs> we show up on Friday and get our butts handed to us. But nonetheless, it's happening, it's exciting. It's also a interesting time because I tend to, I don't tend to, I use this time of the year to gauge um, my fitness level and where I was at compared to last year. And this is where uh, the important concept or the concept of the gap is. So. Uh, Dan Sullivan, who was my business coach um, and the owner of a company called Strategic Coach, which is an excellent company and he's a brilliant human being. You should definitely check out his stuff. He has this idea called the gap. And as a human, you always have your goals and your vision that you're trying to achieve. So he mentions and calls that the horizon. That's somewhere in the distance that you're moving towards. Now, the horizon is always changing. And if you've ever had an experience in life where you've got what you wanted, um, you're happy, but you're only happy for a short period of time, whether that period of time is hours, um, days, or, uh, or you know maybe even weeks. But nonetheless, eventually, you're gonna want something else. And the horizon keeps pushing forward, which can lead us to get into um, this place where we're not satisfied with our current level or our current ability. And this is exactly what happened to me this week. Um, my the, one of the exercises that I really struggle with is a thruster. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Uh, and it was programmed for me. I haven't done them in a really long time, and it was programmed for me on Monday. So here I am trying to do these thrusters, and I had my to say that I had my butt handed to me is an understatement. You know, and you put yourself in this gap where you're like, oh my god, you know, like I want to get here, and I have all this work to do, and I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to accomplish this. You know, versus the solution to the gap, which is turning around looking back at where I was a year ago or where you were a year ago or two years ago and being proud and happy with all the progress uh, that's been made, which is the solution for getting into the gap. I think it's human nature to compare ourselves, well, I don't think, I know it's human nature to compare ourselves uh, to always be looking into the future, um, but the fact of the matter is it's beneficial to look back and to be happy. So, got some cute clips of my kids. Uh, it was a pretty quiet week in terms of everything else, but it's all good. Super excited for the open. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.